Today we're going to take a look at a site called Wolfram Alpha. Now Wolfram Alpha is about maybe four or five months old. Really interesting site. Looks like a search engine, but is totally different. In fact, they even call it a computational knowledge engine. Well, what does that mean? Let's take a look. It's easier to see on this site than to explain. So, in the basic search box over here, I could type in one of several things. For instance, it's almost five o'clock. So I'm going to type in five o'clock. And what do I get? It's assuming that five o'clock is a time. You could also choose to use it as a mathematical object instead, but it tells you that it's 5 o'clock, it knows that today is Sunday the 4th, it says that 5 minutes and 11 seconds from now, it will be 5 o'clock, because it tells you the exact time is 4.54 and 48 seconds. Time until midnight is 7 hours, sunset and sunrise, pretty neat. And they even show you a clock image of what it looks like. Very cool. Alright, let's do something more simplistic. 2 plus 2. If I type in 2 plus 2, I get over here the mathematical answer that is 4, the result. The number name is 4, and the visual representation is 4 circles. Really, really cool stuff. And you'll notice down here, I could download this as a PDF file. Very neat. Let's take a look at something else. I'm going to type in New York up here in my search box. Okay, so it's assuming that New York is the city, and it tells you over here the population, the metro area population. I could show coordinates for it. I have a little map. I could choose to look at a satellite image. It tells you the current weather, the local time, and the approximate elevation. Really neat. Very, very easy way to look at different things around town. So, now that's all well and good, but let's see something else. I want to take a look at, well, they have a couple of really great examples here. So let's take a look at what they have. Um, for instance, I know there's a lot of great science things, and, and this is really, if you look at this list over here very quickly, there are tons of things you could do. But let's look at chemistry elements. For instance, I want to look at, okay, carbon, let's say. Here's carbon. It shows you the location on the periodic table, an abbreviation, the phases, density, the electromagnetic properties, reactivity, and you can see the list goes on and on and on. Very, very cool stuff. You could actually even have it show the energy plot, so it charts it out, the ionization energizes in molar electron volts, very exciting stuff. You can take a look at it over here on the periodic table. Really neat. Let's take a look at something in a totally different realm. Let's type in piano. The piano. Ah, it's giving me information about the movie, but I don't want that. I want an actual piano. Let's type in C sharp. Ah, C sharp, very cool. So it shows me what it would look like, the musical note, the standard frequency for the note, I bet you didn't know that, musical notation, and look at this, play sound. It'll actually play the musical note. Very cool. Shows you the keyboard location of that note, and the scales, and the minor scales, you could actually even show staff notation. Very neat. So that is Wolfram Alpha in a nutshell. Play around with it. It gives you a lot of great information. Um, you could also use dates. So for instance, today is October 4th. I'm just going to type that in and look at all the information I get about today's date. Time in 2009. If there are any observances over here, I can get them. I can look at more formats and different calendars. Really neat. I can look at all the famous people that were born over here. The phase of the moon, a large image perhaps. Very neat. 99.82% illuminated tonight. Very exciting. So this is Wolfram Alpha, and there's a lot of things that you can discover on here just by playing around with the search. It's a great tool to show kids because it presents information in a very statistical and very data-driven way, but it's kind of fun. A lot of things you'll find on here are changing daily, so it's a really great site to look for. Check it out, Wolfram Alpha. Enjoy.